Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a Buick Encore, but not any Encore, the Encore GX. So it may be confusing to some people between the Encore and the Encore GX, but the Encore GX is essentially the Chevy Trailblazer uh, underneath the skin of a Buick body. And out of the two Encores, I would definitely consider the Encore GX to be the nicer version. It's definitely the newer version as the older regular Encore is based on the Chevy Trax platform, which is getting replaced with an all new Chevy Trax for 2024. Uh, make sure to check that out if you guys haven't already. But the Encore GX is definitely a nice compact SUV for sure. And as far as differences between the Chevy Trailblazer and the Encore GX, there are features and options that are exclusive or only available on the GX. They're actually not available on the Chevy Trailblazer. And as far as changes go for the 2023 model here on the Encore GX, it's actually relatively unchanged from last year. The only change that happened is GM got rid of the Quicksilver metallic exterior color and replaced it with the Moonstone gray metallic exterior color, which is just a slightly darker kind of silver slash gray color. And as far as pricing goes, luckily that goes unchanged so far in the 23 mod year compared to 2022. So the vehicle next to me is an Essence front wheel drive trim level, which sits in the middle of the trim structure for the Encore GX. This starts at $30,195, including destination. So with all that information in mind, let's not waste any more time and take a look at what the 2023 Encore Essence front wheel drive has to offer for just over $30,000. So the Encore GX in front of us is finished in the Cinnabar exterior color with the ebony or black leather interior. Now this is definitely an interesting color. You can see it has a lot of metallic flake here in the sunlight. It has a little bit of an orange accent on an overall red paint color. Now it's very interesting. This is an extra cost paint color, so keep that in mind. Uh, however, I do enjoy it and it's definitely a different twist on a red color. As far as the headlights go, you will find LED projector headlights with LED reflector high beams. Your daytime running lights will kind of surround the headlamp assembly right there. Incandescent turn signals down below, right above your LED projector fog lights. A little bit of chrome accent trim around the grille and the Buick emblem, but otherwise gloss black accented. Red, white, and blue Buick emblem with some silver accent farther down on the bumper. It is a very attractive design. And if you're considering this vehicle or the Chevy Trailblazer, I would say this one is a little bit more subdued, more luxurious looking versus the Chevy Trailblazer, which might be a little bit polarizing uh, to some people. You'll find the typical black body cladding. However, there is paint match cladding available with the Sport Appearance Package on certain trim levels of the Encore GX. So that is a nice feature for sure. I would probably prefer the paint match myself. As far as the wheels go, these are your kind of gray slash chrome accented wheels. They're 18 inch in size, wrapped in 225, 55, Hankook Kinergy GT all season tires. Paint match mirror caps, but no LED turn signal indicators. They are heated and do have blind spot detection. Proximity entry on all four door handles, and you can see there is kind of chrome accents there on each of the four door handles with some silver trim that kind of goes on the upper side of the windows. Out back, you'll see the chrome trim kind of continues lower on on the bumper. You will find partial LED tail lights out back with incandescent turn signals and your reverse lights farther down on the bumper. I do like this amber accent in the tail lights. I think it kind of breaks up the overall assembly itself. And there's that silver accented trim lower on the bumper, which is where you'll find your rear backup camera as well. Still have the red, white, and blue Buick emblem on the back. So a very attractive SUV, and like I said, this is a little bit more luxurious oriented versus something like the Chevy Trailblazer, which has kind of a unique design that's kind of aggressive and sporty looking. So between the two, this is definitely the more luxurious one. But take a look at the window sticker to show you exactly what the features and options that this one has. This one does have the Experience Buick package, which features the power sunroof as well as the 18 inch alloy wheels. It has three years of OnStar and connected services, hands-free power liftgate, the Cinnabar Metallic, once again, is extra cost color. The Safety Package 2, as well as a small credit for not having the heated steering wheel activated, which does include a later retrofit, for a total MSRP of $34,460, including destination. Now, taking a look on the interior, once again, this is the black leather interior. Starting out on the door panel, you will find soft touch uppers with a nice leather wrapped, leather stitched armrest, power windows, mirrors, and locks with an automatic driver's side two-person memory seats for the mirror as well as the seat. And once again, that power lift gate, which is optional on this trim. You can program the height, which is nice. Good amount of storage lower in the door. You can see you do have a Buick door sill plate. 
Power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar with your black leather once again and the white accent stitching. So stepping inside, the step and height is going to be very easy, which is why a lot of people like these compact SUVs just because they sit up a little bit higher versus something like a traditional hatchback. So immediately we're gonna be greeted to the traditional analog with partially digital gauge cluster. It has the 4.2 inch color display in the center, which features some of your vehicle settings. They can control here on the right side of the steering wheel. I'm not gonna cycle through quite everything, but there are a few pages you can go through and set up different information. Pretty typical on most GM vehicles. It does have automatic high beam assist on the left side, regular wipers, leather wrapped steering wheel that normally would be heated. However, this one does need the retrofit, which comes at a later date. It has normal cruise control, but it does have collision avoidance assist, which you can choose your gap setting right there. Three optional gaps and voice commands and uh, phone systems for the infotainment system on the right side. It does feature paddles on the back side of the steering wheel to control the volume as well as some of the other infotainment settings. To the left side of the steering wheel, you will find your automatic headlight, fog light control, as well as your gauge dimming. Gloss black accents around the dash panel and infotainment screen with kind of that silver unique pattern look up top. And the dash is soft touch with kind of that leather stitched edge. Definitely makes it look a little bit nicer than something like the Chevy Trailblazer. So taking a look at the infotainment system, this is the eight inch HD color touchscreen with wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM capability, USB, Bluetooth, all the usual inputs for this infotainment. Very easy to use. Like I've been mentioning in most of my GM videos, I would just say it needs slightly updated in terms of the physical size. I think the layout and usability is very uh, easy and very nice compared to some of the more difficult, intricate uh, infotainments on the market but I would say it's just a little bit small in terms of just the overall footprint of the display. Nice hard touch buttons below the display with a volume and power button. Dual zone automatic climate control with heated front seats. USB-C, USB-A auxiliary inputs with a 12 volt charge outlet. This is normally where the wireless charging pad would be if it was optional with it, I do believe. Lane keeping assist as well as your traction control off button in front of the shifter there with some more gloss black accents electronic parking brake and as far as the key fob goes typical buick key fob i do really enjoy buick's key fobs because they are quite thin quite lightweight and just compact in size this one does have the power tailgate once again so that will be on the fob as well as your typical remote start lock unlock all the usual stuff a little bit of storage behind the shifter assembly with your nice soft touch armrest has two tiers inside you can kind of remove this covey if you would like and it is quite deep, but you can see it is quite narrow. So nice to have additional storage, just a little bit on the small side of things. Up top, you'll find your light colored headliner, LED interior lighting, auto dimming interior rear view mirror, OnStar passenger airbag display, incandescent interior lighting, sunroof controls, as well as three garage home link settings. And this sunroof isn't quite full-size panoramic however it is about a sunroof and a half it goes quite far back into the second row but this is a compact suv so it does let in quite a bit of additional light and i'd probably option it if i was in the market for an suv like this let's go ahead and take a look at the back seat see what the second row has to offer so you can see most of the materials are going to follow through except the hard touch uppers you still have the nice leather stitch padded armrest with the stitching there So taking a step inside, the step in height is very easy once again. There's a look at the front seat. No AC vents in the second row, which is a little bit of a bummer, but you do have a 120 volt uh, wall outlet as well as two USB charge ports down there. So that is nice to have in the second row for sure. Mat pockets on both of the seats. And I believe the seat does uh, fully fold down flat so you can put longer items pushing eight, eight and a half feet diagonally in this vehicle. I believe that was one of the selling points and marketing points of this vehicle when it was released. 60-40 split folding seats. Center armrest with two cup holders is padded. And I would say the leather material itself is fairly nice. These seats are nice and plush on the bottoms. Uh, so I definitely think that is a nice high quality trait 
of this vehicle. And once again, that sunroof isn't quite fully panoramic back to the second row here, but it is kind of scalloped as far as headroom goes and I have several inches to spare. So plenty of room here in the second row seats, even though this is once again, a compact SUV, it is of decent and usable size for sure. This one has the power lift gate function once again. You can program the height on it. A little bit of illumination on the left side. Dual stage floor, so you can raise this up about an inch or two to gain a little bit of extra height if you would like. Compact spare tire underneath the floor with some additional storage space. And once again, these are your carpeted floor mats. So taking a look at the passenger front seat, you will find a partially power passenger seat, which is a nice addition. So there's your two-way power lumbar, as well as your typical slide forward and back. Now the only manual adjustment on the seat is the reclining functionality via that lever right there. But otherwise it is the full power adjustment, just like the driver's side. See some of that accent stitching here on the dash. The glove box is damped. No interior lighting in there, but it is a good size. But yeah, that is the inside of the Encore Essence GX trim level. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood, see what powers this particular Encore, and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Under the hood, you'll find a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder that puts out 155 horsepower and 174 pound-feet of torque through the front wheels. Now, front wheel drive models get a CVT transmission where all wheel drive models get a nine speed torque converted automatic. So if it was my choice, I would probably opt for an all wheel drive just to gain that nine speed automatic transmission. But front wheel drive models do feature a CVT. So that's gonna do it for this video on the 2023 Buick Encore GX Essence trim level. Now let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Do you think this vehicle is actually worth over $34,000 as equipped? Or is there something else in the Buick or other manufacturers lineup that you would rather have for that mid $30,000 price point? Now, personally, like I said, I do think this is the better version of the Chevy Trailblazer. If you want a vehicle that doesn't stand out on the exterior design quite as much, isn't as polarizing, uh, then this is definitely the better choice out of the two. There are a few options and features that you can get in the GX lineup that you cannot get in the Chevy Trailblazer. But if you do fully load up an Encore GX, I think you do push that $40,000 price point which is quite crazy for this size um, of vehicle with all the features and options that it has. So just keep that in mind that these do get pricey very quickly. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button. It greatly helps out these videos in the channel. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications and check out some of the other videos I have both in the Buick, GMC, Chevy, as well as Hyundai lineup. I have a lot of new content out there, so make sure to check it out. And I do have some automotive how-to videos as well. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure to check that out. If you happen to own a Chevy Trailblazer or Encore GX, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know how your ownership experience has been. I think it will definitely help out anybody that is interested in purchasing one of these for themselves to have real world owner experiences down in the comments rather than me just spending about an hour with a vehicle telling you my first impressions. But make sure to leave that information down in the comment section below. And uh, also remember there is a new Chevy Trax coming out for the 2024 model year and the price point on that is very crazy. Now that only comes in front wheel drive. However, as the one we're sitting in today is front wheel drive as well. So uh, let me know if you might be waiting for a 2024 Chevy Trax um, instead of purchasing a Chevy Encore GX or Chevy Trailblazer now. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.